Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this part of the circle has been folded uh, leftward. And as a result, we get this uh, dark uh, shaded green region. In other words, uh, both of these uh, regions are uh, identical. And moreover, uh, this uh, code uh, AB is uh, 30 times uh, square root of 3 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, dark uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I have connected uh, this uh, center O with this uh, point uh, C. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. And here we can see that this uh, OC is the radius of the circle and AB is the chord. And this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So no wonder this segment uh, AP is going to be equal to this segment uh, BP. And furthermore, uh, since uh, these uh, two regions are uh, identical, so therefore uh, this segment OP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PC. So therefore uh, this segment uh, is equal to this segment. And in this next step, I have connected this center O with these points uh, A and uh, B. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, O A and uh, O B are the radii of this uh, circle. And moreover, uh, this uh, O C is the radius uh, as well. Let me label uh, this uh, radius as uh, lowercase uh, r. Then this radius is going to be lowercase r as well. And likewise, uh, this uh, radius is going to be lowercase uh, r as well. And since uh, P is the midpoint, uh, so therefore this OP uh, segment is going to be R divided by 2. And this other segment is going to be R divided by 2 as well. And now we know that this whole chord is uh, 30 times square root of 3. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, AP is going to be half of uh, this chord length. That is going to be 15 times uh, square root of 3. And likewise, this uh, BP length is going to be 15 times uh, square root of 3 as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APO, whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase r r divided by 2 and 15 times square root of 3. Let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, r divided by 2 whole uh, square plus uh, b is uh, 15 uh, times the square root of uh, 3 whole square equal to r square. So let's go ahead and simplify. That is going to give us r square divided by 4 plus 675 equal to r square. Let's move this uh, r square divided by 4 on the other side. So therefore, we're going to have uh, 675 equal to r square minus r square divided by 4. And on this uh, right hand side, if we simplify this thing, that is going to give us uh, 3 r square divided by 4. So therefore, we are going to get uh, 3 r square divided by 4 equal to 675. Let's go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction. I'm going to multiply 4 divided by 3 on this side and 4 divided by 3 on this side as well. And we can see this uh, 3 divided 4, these are gone. So therefore, our r square uh, value, if we simplify this uh, right hand side, is going to give us uh, 900. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore, our radius uh, r turns out to be 
30 units. So therefore our this uh, radius r value turns out to be 30. Likewise this uh, r value is uh, 30 as well. And moreover this segment OP is going to be half of this uh, radius r that is going to be 15 and likewise uh, PC segment is uh, 15 units as well. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, APO and I have copied it down uh, over here and we can see that this is our special uh, 30 60 90 triangle since the longest uh, leg is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg and this uh, third leg is uh, 15 times the square root of 3. So therefore we conclude that this uh, AOP angle uh, turns out to be 60 degrees and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, triangle uh, APO is uh, congruent to this uh, another uh, triangle uh, BPO as you can see over here according to side uh, side side uh, congruency theorem since uh, this is our radius R and this one is radius uh, R as well this is uh, congruent to this side uh, length and this uh, OP side is uh, common and since uh, these uh, two triangles are congruent uh, so therefore uh, this uh, angle uh, AOP is going to be congruent to this uh, triangle uh, BOP both of them are 60 degrees each so therefore this whole angle uh, AOB is going to be 60 plus 60 is going to give us uh, 120 degrees as you can see over here and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, dark uh, green uh, region uh, area is going to be equal to the sector AOB area minus the triangle uh, AOB area so therefore now our task is to calculate this sector AOB area and uh, likewise we are going to calculate uh, this triangle uh, AOB area as well and here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, sector AOB. And now let's recall the sector area formula. Area equals to angle theta divided by 360 times uh, pi r square. And in our case, our angle uh, theta is 120 degrees and our radius uh, r is uh, 30. So therefore, the area of this sector AOB is going to be 100. Uh, 20 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi times our radius is 30 whole square and here 120 degrees divided by 360 degrees reduces to one third so therefore we are going to get one third times that's going to give us 900 pi and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 300 uh, pi so thus our sector AOB area turns out to be 300 uh, pi and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, AOB and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, A times B times uh, sine of angle uh, C as you can see in this uh, diagram these are our two side lengths uh, A and B and the C is the angle between them and in our case uh, our side lengths uh, are 30 and uh, 30 and the angle between them is 120 degrees so therefore the area of this triangle AOB is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 30 times 30 once again times the uh, sine of uh, angle 120 degrees and now we can see that sine of 120 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 and 1 divided by 2 times 30 times 30 is going to give us 450 so therefore I can write 450 times square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore the right hand side turns out to be 225 times the square root of 3. So the triangle AOB area turns out to be 225 times square root of 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, 
dark green shaded region and we know that this is equal to sector AOB area minus uh, the triangle AOB area and we already figured out uh, these uh, areas. So therefore this uh, dark uh, green region area is going to be equal to the sector area is uh, 300 uh, pi minus uh, the triangle AOB area is uh, 225 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 3. So thus the dark uh, green uh, region area turns out to be 300 pi minus uh, 225 times the uh, square root of 3 square units and that is going to be equal to 552.77 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.